Okay, so in our previous video, we discussed that we measure the area in square units. So now let us quickly take an example and then we see if there are any issues in the method that we have come up with. So we are given this, uh, uh, this rectangle here, which is like 5 cm by 3 cm. Let me just trace it so that, so this is one line and this is 3 cm. And again, this is also 5 cm and this is 3 cm. And we are supposed to calculate the area. So we know that what, what we, do, we we have superimposed this rectangle on a grid which has 1 cm by 1 cm of which has the, the square size is 1 cm by 1 cm. Now what essentially we do is we simply count the number of square units that is enclosed by this figure. So in this case we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Or in simple words you can just count the number of columns and multiply it by number of rows. So which is going to be 5 times 3 is 15 square units. So we just write it as square units. Now what is unit? A unit may be centimeter. So I can say that 15 square centimeter or 15 centimeters squared. This is the way you can represent the area. Okay. So now this is when we have a very perfect figure in which we can align the boundaries okay we can align the boundaries of this figure exactly with the boundaries of the square grid this is the imaginary grid that we have here it's just an imaginary grid imaginary grid of squares of size 1 cm by 1 cm and we just assume that I mean this figure is said that we can align them but now let us have a look at this figure if you just have a look at this figure over here so we have this is what happens so in this case we don't have a perfect alignment with the boundary of the grid this is the figure here and we are now supposed to find out the area that is in this so let me just so this is the area that we would be interested in finding out I'm just sharing this this area is what I'm concerned about now how do we go about finding this area and in fact this is representative of what can happen in our day-to-day -day lives as well for example the fields let's say a farmer he wants to find out the region enclosed within his field it may not be exactly a square or rectangle it could be any shape so how do we find out the area shown below so now we can see we can just see number of squares so this is one square over here two squares and three squares but then we have some squares which are not full squares like these if you just see this shaded portion these are not the full squares so how do we tackle this so for that we have come up with some conventions and what we just discussed is that the squares do not always exactly fit into the area we want to measure of course it is in our interest to be able to align the boundary of the area that we measure with the boundary of the imaginary grid but then sometimes the squares do not fit and in fact that would happen quite many times so what we do is we will come up with some rules just to simplify our calculations we can call them as rule of thumb Okay, so the first thing is you just see the area of one full square. Okay, you just count out the full squares that are there within that figure. So for that we can count it as a one square unit. Okay, if it is a centimeter square sheet, then the area of one full square is going to be one square centimeter and so on. Now, if there are any portions that are covered by the figure which are less than half of a square, we just ignore them. We just leave it because it's less than half of a square. 
Now, if more than half of a square is covered, we count it as one full square. Okay, that is the other part. And then it could also be possible that exactly half of square is counted. Or you, you can see that exactly half of the square is being taken to the picture. In that case, we can take its area as half square units. So this provides us a fair estimate of the area. Please note that because we are kind of trying to come up with an estimate of area because in many situations you may just not be able to get an exact area. Okay, so this the, the, the reason why we came up with this rules is just to get up with a fair estimate of area. So, it, okay, so essentially what we are going to do is we find out the full square units, we find out half square units, if anything is less than half square unit enclosed by the figure, we ignore it. If anything is more than half of the square unit, we just count it as one. So now let us try to find out the area of this figure using what we have learned. So first we look at the full square units. So this is one, two and three. So full squares full squares are three. Now let us see if we have half. So you can see that this is half, second is half and three. So half square units, half squares are how many? Three times half, which is one, one and a half. Or you can also say it's 1.5 square units. So therefore the total squares covered by this figures is the sum of these that is 3 plus 1.5 or four and a half square units. So this is how we can estimate area when we find out that squares do not cover I mean when the squares on the grid are not entirely covered by the object under considerations. So in the next session, we'll be solving more problems which are based on this type of figures.